All right, guys. Well, the first step of putting this motor back together is to put a new governor gear in. And in order to do that, you've got this pin on the side here that you got to pull out, and you got your governor cross shaft that's going to go in there. And the governor goes all the way down at the bottom of the motor all the way up here so it's the first thing that's got to go in so the gear goes on this little stub shaft here and uh, the cross shaft comes out the side and uh, we'll put that in first and then we'll do our valves all right guys so I got my governor in and I got my governor cross shaft in which you can see is what makes it actually work and the next thing I'm going to do is put this bearing here into the uh, block so I'll get my seal driver bearing driver and I'll drive it out from the inside here like so and uh, then we'll put in the valve lifters and the camshaft all right guys we got the bearing in now I'm gonna put my uh, valve tappets in here so I like to put a little oil on them first can always never hurt and our valve lifter will just go right in these holes here. It's that simple. And uh, our next step here will be to put the camshaft in, which will hold those valve lifters in place there. And uh, let's do that. All right, guys. Next, we're going to put the camshaft in. And to do that, you drive this pin here in the side. And uh, the camshaft goes in here and the pin goes through it and there is a spacer that goes between the side here and the cam and uh, so we'll just line that up and drive that pin in and it will be good all right guys now it's time to put the crankshaft in and uh, this crankshaft has a long story behind it I got it for uh, five bucks at the Gravely Mowing in Windsor Pennsylvania back in 2014 it looked like a rusty boat anchor and I did electrolysis on it and then I sent it out and had it ground to 20 under and uh, yeah that's it man the things mint now so uh, the only thing you got to do when you put this crank in is line up the timing marks with the um, camshaft in there and you should be all good but yeah, let's put it in, and then we'll put the bearing plate on, and uh, we'll be just about done. All right, I like to take a magic marker and draw a mark on the timing marks here, and uh, that way we'll know that they're exactly together. And uh, that's how I do this. So yeah, pretty good, huh? So you see the timing mark on the camshaft and the timing mark on the crank. They'll both come together at the exact right spot, and we're good. So now what we got to do is, uh, yeah, it says Ralph on there. That's mint with a paint marker. So now we got to get our uh, bearing plate ready and our shims here. And then we're going to check our end play. And they give you various gasket sizes, so you can lock down exactly the right end play of the crankshaft, and that's uh, very important to this thing. And um, after that, we'll do our valves and our piston and our connecting rod, and we should be done. All right, guys, we're going to take this old seal here out of the bearing plate. We're going to use this slide hammer to do that, and uh, we'll just put it in there and uh, see if we can get a good whack on it. Sometimes these things come out easy, sometimes they don't. All right, so we got it out. We got this new seal here. We're going to drive that in. Put a little oil around the outside first. And uh, we'll get this lined up good. We'll get our seal driver here. And uh, give it a couple taps. Sometimes it's hard to get these things in there without 
screwing them up. You got to have it exactly square. That's really the ticket here. Having a nice seal driver like this helps a lot. Son of a bitch. Try it again. Sometimes it takes a couple tries to get them just right. But, uh, yeah, we'll drive this in and uh, put that bearing plate on. Right, we're going to measure our end play. So I got my uh, dial indicator here. And the instructions say it can be anywhere between 0 .003 and 0 .020. That'd be 20,000. So I'm going to move my crank here in and out. And I'm going from 0 to 85. So I'm at 15. So I am in an acceptable range. And uh, that's fine. I could put one more spacer in there if I want. They're about 8 or take one out, they're about eight thousandths. So if I did that, I'd be less. I think I might take one out. I'd rather have it a little tighter than uh, uh, than way too loose. So that's what we'll do. All right, I think that's about enough for tonight, but uh, I got my end play where I want it to be, which is actually gonna be about 12. I decided to just leave it there. I'm fine with 12. It feels nice, and uh, I'm out of energy. It's about 10 o'clock, and I've been working hard all day, so we'll maybe work on this a little bit tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to put a little oil on the uh, cylinder bore after I cleaned it so it doesn't rust tonight. And uh, we'll, call it, we'll call it a wrap for now, guys. Stay tuned.